I was supposed to make a video about this expansion kit today, but then I got notified that GGI has released a new firmware update for the Osmo Pocket. And I gotta tell you, this firmware update changes everything. One of the biggest issues I had with the Osmo so far was that I could not change the pro settings uh, when I was out filming. I had to hook up the phone every time I had to change a parameter that uh, I wanted to adjust. And this was uh, pretty annoying, especially when you're out and it's cold, you wanna use the unit without uh, hooking up the phone. And that is possible now with the new uh, firmware update. With that, you get the pro settings uh, accessible directly on the Osmo Pocket. Another really cool thing that they added is a de like color profile like we know from the drones. This is a flat profile that will allow you to preserve more dynamic range in your footage, which makes it perfect for color grading in post-production. Apart from fixing some minor issues, uh, they also optimized the face detection uh, on the Osmo Pocket as well as adding a switch so you can switch between the two auto-focusing modes AFS and AFC. And if you don't know the difference, uh, AFS is autofocus single and uh, AFC is autofocus continuous. And uh, the autofocus continuous uh, that uh, optimizes uh, the autofocusing when the object is moving in front of the camera. Where AFS just focuses on a single point and once you've set the focus, that's it. So the two primary updates uh, with the, the color profiles and the pro settings available uh, on the Osmo Pocket, those are Pretty nice, let me show you what it looks like. You access the pro settings by powering up the device and wait for it to be ready. Then you swipe down from the top and then swipe left until you reach the pro tab. I type the pro setting and tap the upper left corner. And now I get access so I can change the color profile. I can also change the white balance either to a specific number or I can make uh, choose one of the preset modes like cloudy or sunny. I can go in here and I can adjust the shutter speed and the ISO. And if I switch it into auto, I can change the exposure compensation value. So I can either underexpose or overexpose the footage. If you don't know the exposure compensation value, that is a combination of aperture, shutter and ISO and that will help you to get the, your footage exposed correctly. You should strive to get the value around 0 plus minus 0 0.7. I can adjust the audio level between low, moderate and high or I can just put it in auto. How cool is that that you have access to these settings directly uh, on the device without hooking up the phone? Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is useful or not. This is not the only thing that DJI released today. They also released an update for the Mimo app, which will finally add stories to the portfolio. This means that you can now create stories uh, on the go and the Mimo app will help you create these stories by suggesting a, a template that you can use as a baseline for the story. This could look something like this. Here I am where the movie started, facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. Well, I know this was not the most fascinating story that I could produce, but I hope you get the picture. Apart from that, you now can shoot stories uh, on the fly. They also had, uh, added some additional templates that will help you make these stories uh, more interesting. Further, they uh, introduced uh, some bug fixes and some additional minor features that I don't want to spend time on mentioning here, but I can uh, show you how the release looks like so you can judge for yourself. Have fun with this new firmware update. Uh, you should definitely install it because that will take your Osmo Pocket experience to a new level. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already a subscriber, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials by hitting the subscribe button below and play with the bell next to it so you get updated every time I send out a new video. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.